Oh, you have questions? <laughs> I, I guess not. Shijia! What's poppin', everybody? Support our Madilla father here. And when I'm here with, with uh, what's your name? I don't even know. So Sam, me we, we got Samer Blammer, Sam and Neo, Samer 77, a.k.a. the Mayor of the City, a.k.a. Mr. Take a Girl. And um, in the background, we have, well, not in the background, really. Like, I guess we're in the background. But right now, we got some Batman Arkham City. Why is probably the question. It's an old game, but why do we have it, Samer Blammer? Oh, well, the main thing, why, main reason why we have Arkham City is because recently on PlayStation Plus, there were two free games that came out this past Tuesday. There was Mercenary Kings for PS4, 2D shooter, shoot 'em up type thing. So, But that's not what we're talking about today. We're talking about Arkham City, and that came free on PlayStation Plus. Now, a uh, good portion of Sony owners already got that PlayStation Plus. But for some of you, you may be thinking, well, I don't really need it. And there's not that great games and things like that. And we're here to convince you of why Arkham City is not only just a great game, but it's like one of the greatest games. So we, Michael and I both I think it sucks. It. I'm just messing. I'm just oh, messing. Oh, that's a good one. You got me. Uh, but yeah, Michael and I both huge fans of the game, So and as well as uh, Arkham Asylum. And we, we got mixed opinions on Origins. But you know, but we're here to talk about... I thought Origins was too short. Yeah, yeah it was a bit short. So I thought that the fact things. for a game that bo boasts, 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 yeah, boasts, the word. an open world environment. Check this camera out. Boom, motherfucker. He did. Okay. Um, you know we don't kill people. I just thought we do that. For okay. Anyway, I thought I thought for a game that boasts an open world, a story about an origin, the fact that halfway through the game if you have to do, the you have to complete the story because of one. Mission, I guess. One mission triggers the rest of the missions, and I did not like that at all. That was my thing. But I don't understand how he does that. Like, like, like when he does that, like that backflip thing and like flies through the air. Yeah, I don't, some of his movement is a bit all over I, the place. I think that's crazy. So. Okay, but anyway, man, Arkham Origins to me was too short. Mm -hmm. I did not like the voice actor. I don't care who who he did. Who did he do? Who who was the who was he? Uh, oh, I was about to say Eric Holmes. That's a great director. Uh, Roger Craig Smith. Is the guy. He did the voice of Ezio. He did the voice of Sonic the Hedgehog. He did the voice of Leon from Resident Evil. Uh, Ezio's from Assassin's Creed, by the way. But yeah, he's he's a famous voice actor. But his Batman, I thought, thought it was good. So I had no problems with his Batman. Nope, I didn't like it at all. No, but whatever. Sorry. I am a big Kevin Conroy fan. I yeah, am excited Kevin, that Kevin Conroy, Conroy is coming good. back. And I hope that because because Arkham Knight. Arkham Knight was announced, oh, so that's a different game. Yeah. But I just hope that he doesn't stop being Batman. But I mm. feel like Rock said he's going to end it. He may end it. He may be like, I'm going to go out with a bang. Yeah. yeah. I feel I, like, I, I and if he do does that. that, I will cry and applaud him, and I will be like, I love you forever, but, you know, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm going to miss him. Okay. Wait, right. Hold on. So we were talking about something, and I completely lost my train of thought. I'm this, just going on a rant. Yeah, yeah. I need to do that quite often. But we were talking about why Arkham City is worth the PS Plus purchase, that five bucks a month. Why it actually matters to the average show that hasn't played a Batman game that has a PS3 and is just like, hey, I'm looking for some cool games. How about this free Batman one? So, why is it great, Michael? Why is it great, Michael? <laughs> well, let's talk about this. Yeah. Number one, you have Kevin Conroy. And for those of you who do not know who Kevin Conroy is, see, you're laughing, Samer Blammer. But this is why Kevin Conroy is amazing. At one point, I hope that we were all children. And when I was a child, I remember on Kids WB every Saturday morning, and then it moved to Sunday morning. I don't know why. Yeah, that's dumb. Kids WB had something called the Batman Superman Adventures. Da, 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 da. That was the theme song as well. Just letting y'all know that. Kevin Conroy voiced Batman. And the original series, like for Batman the Animated Series, like, like back for Kevin Conroy... Uh, before something called the revamped, it was very film noir like. All the like it was dark, it was gritty, and then they had something called the revamped where they made it more cartoony, which was fine. I love both of them, but the thing is, when people talk about Batman, many times you'll hear them talk about the animated series because even though it was an animated series, it was still like it was a great animated series. Yeah, the story was great. No, I'm sorry. Go yeah, on. it was definitely one of the best creations of Batman, both in either uh, live action or animated. It was mainly due to that dynamic voice acting, like you said, between Mark Hamill and Kevin Conroy. A lot was due to the writing of Paul Dini, and just like they were very faithful to the universe that the comics had created. So, and a lot of that is recreated through Arkham City and Arkham Asylum. Because the writer of the animated series, same guy in here, actually so. worked on Arkham City, and it just shows. You know, I mean, I mean, I mean, you may not agree with me, but I think that because they brought everybody back, they want. Oh, I was stupid here. Oh man, I was so stupid. What, what's wrong with you, bro? <laughs> anyway, anyway, um, but yeah, I, I, I just think that they came 
that they all came together. They worked on it. I thought it was a great thing. I think it's a great story. And if you haven't played Arkham Asylum, it's like you could probably get it for like ten bucks right now at GameStop. Yeah, yeah. It's, I mean, it's, it's cheap, mm -hmm. and you Definitely don't. Worth your time. Yeah, but you don't need. I'm not gonna lie. You don't need it to, mm -hmm. to enjoy Arkham City. It just yeah. explains what's going on. Like Joker's fucked up. Oh, excuse me, Joker's after. We'll figure it out. Don't worry yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah, we got. <laughs> he's uh he he's messed up right now, and like it'll explain why. But yeah, um. I think that Arkham City really can make someone who doesn't want PlayStation Plus get PlayStation Plus because mm -hmm. if you've never played it, this right here that you guys are seeing right now, this is a challenge mode. This is called a Predator Room where you got to be sneaky, but I wasn't sneaky. I was actually having a good time because I've beaten the game and I was just having some fun. But you got to like take down all these armed henchmen and you got like detective mode and you feel like a badass. You're Batman. You feel it. I don't know how I missed that. I just don't understand that still. It's a great game. Mm -hmm. Uh, Predator mode is fun. Uh, the first part that you saw was uh, was 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 combat mode. You just just fighting. Yeah. But um, another reason why PlayStation Plus and it's not related to Batman. Xbox, what do you have? You have like gold. I don't like he, Xbox. Games with gold. Yeah, this guy. Has, I'm gonna has say right now. Xbox. I think Xbox yeah. is a joke. Okay, so. but and, and and I'm going to explain why. Like you have different levels or something when you not anymore. Not anymore. Why? Not anymore. They're just the regular and gold. You want to know why? Because PlayStation Plus. They haven't done it before. No, 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 no. this is my opinion. I'm gonna voice my opinion right now. Alrighty. My opinion is this. We we gold and regular. I, d I, d I don't know what the difference between gold and regular is. Uh, regular, you don't get any online modes at all. It's basically like not playing for PlayStation Plus. Do you pay? So. Do you still have to no, pay for regular? No, no. Okay. So gold and regular. Okay. My thing is this. Bioshock Infinite a couple a couple uh, months ago went free to play yeah. for Xbox for for Xbox Live. Did you know that? I didn't actually. It know, actually so. went. Oh. It went free to play months before, months before on um. Wait, isn't it free to play right now on our PlayStation Plus? Couldn't you play for free for it, a while? It was. I don't know if it still is. Yeah, I don't know if it's so, come and go. But that's the point. So. But like I'm saying, they're. They come late to the game. If you like games that come free on PlayStation, Borderlands Two, that's free on PlayStation Plus. Mm -hmm. Like that's a pretty new game considering the Borderlands. You, you know, considering it's yeah. there's still DLC coming out for it. Mm -hmm. Like yeah, that's crazy. The game's like two and a half years old. Yeah, and it's free. And yeah. I'm saying like like I get, and like the reason why oh um I I get the reason why like um like uh like um. It, they wait a little bit of time to put on PlayStation Plus, and that's because of the DLC is still coming out. They want people to buy it. They want people to like check it out if you're a fan. But the fact that they still did that, the fact that that still happens, I think PlayStation Plus is great. I think that the fact that you get free games, you get cloud storage, you get discounts, just all this amazing stuff that that doesn't happen with, to me, to my knowledge, I may be wrong, and if I am, tell me comes with xbox live yeah the my biggest issue actually i agree with a lot of those too but the main thing is is that with xbox you only get two games at a time there's only two games a month with playstation they only update games once a week but you'll have like 20 in the backlog so like if you missed one from a few weeks back, that'll still usually be there and there's some even from a few years ago that are still in there so there's always something to buy and they grew it across all their platforms ps3 ps4 and vita obviously there's more for ps3 just because they have a bigger library but in the future i'm sure they'll have quite a few more vita and ps4 games so tomb raider yeah tomb raider another big one that yeah that's free so, like yeah, yeah. this is i'm i'm because so. Focus on the gameplay again. Right now, yeah. this is Robin. Like this is a Red Robin costume. If if y'all don't know who this is, like uh, I I like I pride myself on being a Batman fan and like knowing a lot about the comics. I honestly have no idea where Red Robin is from. I never I heard of him before the game. Either. So, and but, even after the game, I still don't know where he's from. I just yeah. think that his cow is pretty badass. Yeah. But that's another great thing about Arkham City was the cast of characters they had. They had a ton of great villains. They had a ton of great sidekicks. I mean, you see Robin, you see Oracle. Well, not you see Oracle. We're doing plugs, y'all. We're doing plugs for yeah. Arkham City. Yeah, yeah. Since that's mainly what this video is. But yeah, that's another great thing was the great story with the cast of characters, I thought, was a great thing. That, not a lot. Like, you couldn't do that with a movie. You couldn't have all these famous people being all these great villains because that would just be too expensive. But here, you just need Troy Baker and he can do every role. So it's okay. Mm -hmm. Who's Troy Baker? Uh, he well, like in uh, Arkham Origins, he did Joker. In Arkham City, he did Two Face. So he and he does a lot of other. Things I'm gonna say this well. right now, so. for y'all who don't know, 
who joke uh, who voices Joker. Luke Skywalker voices Joker, <laughs> yeah, and, you, yeah, and, and and you're gonna and, and if you don't know who and if you're like what the fuck, uh, uh, whatever I, just, I said it. <laughs> I, I don't care whatever. Mark Hamill, the guy who played Luke Skywalker in the Star Wars movies, mm-hmm. he voices Joker. Mm-hmm. L- l- let me show you something right now. He's probably one of the greatest voice actors of all time because Joker, like you just would not even expect him, like especially after watching the Star Wars series. Mm-hmm. Troy Baker though. I actually had to do a double take in terms of my ears. You know, I was like, huh? huh? I thought like he was that. A very job I was just like, I thought Mark Hamill wasn't in the game. <laughs> and Sam or Blammer here, he was just like, uh, he's not. It's Troy Baker. I'm like, I, I, I'm very, I was very impressed with, I was very impressed with Troy Baker. I thought he did a phenomenal job. Mm-hmm. And, and I, I don't want to spoil it, so I'm not going to say anything about this, the mm-hmm. next one, but... But Mark Hamill is retired, so he's not coming back for Arkham yeah, Knight. Yeah, he's not coming so. back for Arkham Knight. Mm-hmm. Also, I don't know who voiced it for Ar- for Injustice. Do you know who voiced no, it for Injustice? No, I don't know. I he wasn't was, that it good. It was neither Baker or Ham- Hamill, so... Yeah. Yeah. yeah, because Mark Hamill retired right uh, right before that was released. But once again, Kevin Conroy, yeah, he, 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 he did bad. Batman. Yeah. And I'm not sure if I said this already, but y'all, if, y'all, if you don't know what he looks like, look him up, because... You will be forever scarred in terms of how does this man voice Batman. I mean, I'm puny, y'all. Kind of. I mean, I'm Somewhere. sexy, but puny. Also, if somewhat. that word. <laughs> oh, Sam. Sh- no, I'm still. Um, and and who was I saying right now? Uh, Kevin Conroy. Kevin Conway, he yeah. he is like 60 years old. He is puny. He is. He looks small. And he, in his voice, I mean, that's my opinion. Yeah, yeah. And he voices one of the darkest, strongest people in the nerd world. Mm-hmm. I guess, I guess that's the best way to put it. I just think it's a great, I just think it's a great contrast. I think it's a great contrast. That's yeah, just me. Yeah, I agree. So I mean, I have much more to add to that than what you already said. But yeah, it is kind of uh, weird, I guess, just seeing that deep, dark voice coming out of that little old guy. So, yeah. Did you know, very, very fast, little side note, Comic-Con, when Arkham City was about to come out, he actually did, like, a Batman voice, and everybody cheered for him, and, like, every time, like, uh, for the rest of, like, the interviews, they asked him, like, why did he do that, and he was just like, because I'm Batman. <laughs> and just... The best response. Just it's just, it's just, all yeah. The time, always. It's pretty he, so. he drives a station wagon. <laughs> he also, he also wanted us to know that. And, uh, the woman who played Talia in, uh, Arkham City, mm-hmm. um... She is in a show on ABC called Castle. Yeah. She yeah, plays, uh, I don't know who she plays. Castle's I, I, Lady. I've never seen Ca- Castle. She no. played Castle's Lady now. I know that because I've seen the show. So Castle's a couple, name of uh, a person? Yeah, Castle. He's it's the writer. Good. He's the main character. His oh, name I, is something oh, Castle. Okay. He's a writer. Did you know that? And he walks around because he's a writer and he's trying to make a detective novel. And so he like walks around with the cops. And right. he, like and like his the person that he's assigned to is like this woman mm-hmm. who's like the head of like this department. Yeah. And like like. They fall in love. Oh, that's so oh, sweet. I thought that was just a spin off a house, you know, like you got a house, then you get a castle, then you go back to an apartment after you get kicked out. <laughs> I was swallowing and left. Like, oh my god, I died. Oh man, I killed you. <laughs> Finally. It's my show now. <laughs> but um but um yeah, but um she played it and um when he was talking about like he was just like uh Kevin Conroy that is mm-hmm. like during like, cause they filmed in Los Angeles, mm-hmm. and there was something like the LA riots, like I'm from Chicago, y'all, West Side. Woo-woo. And um I don't really know much about the history of LA but there were like some riots and stuff like that and apparently like uh like uh they didn't cancel the uh the the, the voice acting that day and mm-hmm. like they're driving and Kevin Conroy's like and so I'm driving in my station wagon like that's mm-hmm. not what he sounds like but whatever <laughs> I'm driving in my station wagon I'm watching all these people leave mm-hmm. and I'm watching all these people leave and I'm like why am I driving in my station wagon towards this? And then Talia was just like, and this was before he voiced, uh, he, he did the line, and she was like, because you're Batman. You always go towards the scene of the crime. And like he left, and then she was like, oh, by the way, don't ever say that you drive a station wagon again. We don't want to know that Batman drives a station wagon. <laughs> and so I just thought, and I, and I just thought that was kind of funny. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean, imagine seeing a, a guy dressed as Batman <laughs> driving a station that, wagon. Picture it, y'all. <laughs> Picture it. This, but now, this is the part where if we were fans we'd have a video and an image of Batman on screen in the station like, and he'd be screaming like I'm Batman. Oh but but this, me, is, this is we could Photoshop it. <laughs> I'm sure you'll see a very during very this time bad you may see a really bad Photoshop <laughs> <Extremely bad. laughs> of Batman driving a station wagon. Oh we are gonna try our best, but if we can't, yeah. 
the imagination. Yeah, just use that old brain of yours. But driving a station wagon mm -hmm. lets use that to segue into oh, driving man. another vehicle, which is available in Arkham Knight. Oh, oh man! Oh my gosh! <laughs> can drive that Batmobile. So in the description box below, oh man. We are going to put a link if you haven't seen to the Batman Arkham Knight cinematic trailer. Cinematic trailer. It's Debut called trailer. Father to Son. Yeah. Um tell us about the game. Uh, Arkham Knight is going to take place a year after Arkham City. Uh, Batman. That's why you got to play it. PlayStation yeah. Plus. Yeah, yeah, definitely get that whole setup for Arkham Knight. Because you might be able to get to Arkham City without a sound, but you need both of them to get to Knight. So it's just, it's just the way it is. And then uh, Arkham Knights take place a year after Arkham City. Batman, Scarecrow's placed some bombs around the city. He's gathered more. Scarecrow. Yeah. See, I didn't yeah. even know this. Oh, man, I'm revealing stuff for everybody. Uh, and then he plays bombs around the city. He's gathered a whole bunch of villains. Like, Let's just take the Batman down once and for all. And so the premise gameplay-wise is that you're Batman in Gotham City, finally. Before, it's just been tiny islands or sectioned-off places of Gotham City. But now you got the whole city yourself. You drive around in the Batmobile. You punch guys. You punch other guys. It it's, 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 should be fun times. So there hasn't been any gameplay released for it yet, but there's been a whole ton of details from Game Informer's uh, April Color Cup Review. So, yeah, some interesting things. I don't even know so. if I'm so subscribed to Game Informer. I, I, I get it to like the GameStop thing. Oh, okay. So they can do it digital now, you know? So you don't even have to have a minute. I like you. having the... Yeah, I do too. I'm just saying. If you like, oh, yeah, don't nice. have the... Yeah, and they have the fancy covers too. So those are always nice to look at. So Nightwing, y'all. This is Nightwing. Yep, yep. Just so you know. Mm -hmm. um, now, I'm going to start this off. And then you can probably finish it because yeah. you explained this to me. Mm -hmm. But... Once again, if you haven't played it, you won't really understand. Well, I mean, you'll understand because we'll explain it kind of, but this is such a great game. Mm -hmm. DC Comics has actually branded it a universe. Yep. The Arkham yep. Universe. Mm -hmm. Like before, people had said, like, oh, it's the Arkham Universe. Now it's an official brand in the DC world. So, like, the Arkham games take place, like, in a completely different universe. Like, because, like, how the story progresses, like, it's never happened before like this. Mm -hmm. And so pretty much, um... Because of that, Rocksteady decided to do something. I mean, I, I'm not going to say because Sam Blammer here is, is, is going to explain it. I got the honor. What did Rocksteady do? Why is it called Arkham Knight? Talk to me. Uh, well, Rocksteady is, instead of using uh, writers from the, arc, uh, the animated series, like we talked about earlier, instead they're using their own team of in-house writers to create the story of this game. And while doing so... They uh, they came up with the name Arkham Knight before they even did anything else, and then they were like, okay, what if the Arkham Knight was actually it wasn't Batman? What if that was someone else instead? So they created this. According to them, they created this completely original character called the Arkham Knight. So which they've released some concept art for, so that's out there in the wild. So and he's supposed to be the ultimate. We may we may put a little thing up there. Yeah, maybe yeah, we don't maybe. know. We'll, we'll see. So but uh, but he's supposed to be the ultimate foe to Batman. So uh, and he'll just be how how is he the how is he the ultimate foe? I don't know. I'm not rock steady, so if, I can't. If any of y'all have ever seen Superman or, or or like know anything about Superman, the best way that I can describe it quickly without really knowing anything about it mm -hmm. is um, think of Bizarro. Oh yeah, he's like the anti Batman. He's like the anti Batman, yeah. and so like goddamn, he just like. And that one has some really cool moves. I'm not gonna lie. I yeah, so, I think so. Like yeah. Yeah, yeah, but like he's like, oh, whatever. Um, he's like the anti-Batman. He, I, I mean, I, I guess we really don't know that much about yeah, him. They're, they're keeping him very mysterious. Keep but I mean, mysterious. pretty much, uh, he's he's Batman's Bizarro. He knows, I guess, like the moves. Like to me, I don't understand how that's gonna be explained though, mm -hmm. because. We never heard of him, and like, unless he goes like, I've been watching you, like throughout mm -hmm. like the like the series, yeah. like I don't really know how that's going to be explained. Well, there's been a lot of theories around the internet that this, in fact, may not be an original character; it may just be someone in disguise, kind of almost a Red Hood type thing. There's people thinking it might be Azrael. There's thinking people thinking it might be Prometheus, which is, was kind of like an anti-Batman character in the comics. So, uh, yeah, then that's two of the bigger theories. Go ahead. So Ooh, that's here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, so. I'm having like a moment. Having like a uh -huh. moment. Remember one of the Riddler challenges? This is not really a spoiler, y'all. Like, like in this Arkham City and Arkham Asylum and yeah. Arkham Origins, whatever. Mm -hmm. Um, there's like these side quests called like the Riddler challenges mm -hmm. and he posts like riddle riddles that you gotta solve and like trophies. Yeah. There's this one riddle and it was just like the complete opposite of Batman in a way where like 
you like scan like this plaque on a wall or something and mm-hmm. it was like a newspaper article or something like that yeah. and it was like I read the story I don't remember if it was Asylum or or, or City and I remember it was like like Bruce Wayne spoiler alert y'all his parents die oh man like wow um but this like and so he was like devastated with it uh-huh. I'm checking my okay, okay. Wow. I'm Very sorry I'm sorry I thought I got a text y'all I'm sorry and so um like like um Oh yeah, oh yeah. He like um, he's like um, so ba- so Bruce Wayne was dead. Say like, eh. like understandably, his parents are dead. Yeah. But this kid killed his parents. He wanted the he wanted the fortune, mm-hmm. or no, he tried to kill his parents, something like that, or something like that. Like 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 I'm a bit blurry. And I think Thomas Wayne actually saved them. Or something like that. And then when Thomas... And then, like, so he, like, figured out a way to kill his parents or something like that. But he was mad. So it's just, like, he, like, used all the money to become, like, a super criminal. And that's kind of, like... And I forgot his name. And I may be getting the details wrong. Like, honestly, I thought it was a big Batman fan. And it's, like, after that is, like... Because she kills people. This is Catwoman, y'all. Mm-hmm. Um, like, um... I'm always a big, like, Batman guy. But, like, some of the people that I had never... Like, Tweedledee and Tweedledum... Yeah. I had never heard of them I before. And so, so it's like, and like their first appearance was like in like the 80s or something. I was like, whoa, like I never even heard of them. Yeah. So just stuff like that. But I was, I, I read that and I, and like when I heard that the Arkham Knight is like the anti Batman, mm-hmm. I was like, huh, you know what? This may be him. Yeah. But then they were like, it's a whole new character. But it may be a whole new character in terms of like his mask. Yeah. Like yeah. the mask may be not real. Mm hmm. Well, I'd, I'd personally be more interested if it was a completely 100% new character. Like, I'm sure they could do a cool way where they like, take off the mask and it is some classic Batman villain. But, you know, I'd be interested to see what Rocksteady could do with their completely original ideas. So, personally. So, yeah, I, just as long as this... No, okay, no, no, no. No, no, go, so, no, go, no, 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 no. I, I'm not going to go on it because it's spoiler territory. So, yeah. Were you about to say something about Origins? No, no. I, oh, I, was, I was talking about City. So. I was thinking about a... I was thinking about something. Uh, I was going to say as long as they don't do something like they did in Origins, but I'm not. Gonna... Oh, like with well, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah. See, yeah. play it, y'all. Yeah. Actually, Origins. I mean, yeah, y'all. You could probably pass it. Yeah, yeah. Origins was okay. They can't see your hand thing. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He's he's trying to do like the thing with the hand, like eh. Yeah. yeah. But um, um, if y'all know me personally, I'll I'll loan you my copy. Yeah, he just come over here to uh this cool place called College. Ah, That's look great. at us. Yeah. We're, we're learning. We're learning. Oh, something that you also need to know about Arkham Knights systems. It's, oh, like it's, it's going to be I thought, I, thought talking about the, I thought you were talking about the character. Like, the character systems. Are for, yeah, it is coming exclusively to next gen consoles a la PS4, Xbox One, and. PC. Which is not next gen! Which, Xbox One is not next gen! Oh boy, here you go. No, so, no, we're going to save this. We're going to oh, save this. Yeah. I want people to know my opinions. I'm a Sony pony, okay? Sony. Okay? I like Sony because they respect their consumers. They treat us with shit because we pay for it and they give us shit for that. Fuck Xbox! Oh my gosh, excuse me. Excuse me for swearing. I just don't like Xbox. But go on, really like next gen. Go on, next so, gen. Yeah, so it's coming out to the consoles I mentioned, PS4, Xbox One, PC. So, uh, and yeah, that's really cool because they can do a lot of cool things. And if they were uh, limited by PS3, Xbox 360, and actually, you know, payoff PC. But uh, if they were limited by the previous consoles, I'm sure they wouldn't be able to do stuff like Ar- like having the entirety of Gotham City and things like that. So I'm, and I'm sure there's a whole bunch of other cool gameplay features that they don't have. Announced yet, but that will be exclusively possible. You can drive the Batmobile. Next gen. Yeah, like yeah, the Batman Batmobile is probably another. That's big one. Th- that's so. what I'm really excited for. Yeah, I am too. So yeah. So yeah. So PlayStation Plus, get it. Arkham City, it's worth it. Like okay. five bucks a month or like thirty bucks. Like think about it. If you don't like it, cancel it. So you spent five bucks. Think about it, y'all. Okay, mm-hmm. play it. Play Arkham Asylum, Arkham City, Pass Origins. It's a good game. Get it. This is us, I guess, signing off. I'm yeah. Armadillo Father. I'm well, that's, that's my PSN name. Michael here. Sam is here. And, um... Yeah, thanks for stopping by Quick Time Gaming Network. Look at you thinking about that. I didn't even <laughs> think of that. Yeah, yeah. Gotta promote our tag, man. He Gotta. has got to do that. Yeah. Deuces, y'all. Adios. Bye.